Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed. It's time for another Smart Ed Top Tip. We have one of our field training specialists with us, Smart Certified Kelly Campbell is here. And uh, rumor has it you have a very difficult math problem. I it's do. It's going to probably confuse me, but I'll bet you'll get it right. We'll and we're see. Gonna, we're going to see. What, uh, you might not have enough room on the page. You're going to tell us how to deal yes. with that problem. That's what we're going to do. All right, we're going to slide up here. We're going to put the desktop down there, right there. Right here? Right there. Okay. Okay, go ahead. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our page sorter. We're going to click on our page sorter tab. We're going to click on page two where I have a math problem that's already ready for us to complete. So what I'm going to do is pick up one of my pens from the pen tray. We can go in and start completing that problem. So we'll see if I can do this kind of math. So we're going to drop the six. We're going to add in our three. Okay, we have zero. We're going to drop the eight. We're going to add in our four. I'm starting to run out of room there, so I'm going to have to scroll down a bit, and we're going to do that. I'm going to drop my two, carry that over. I have my two. All right, running out of room again. I'm going to have to slide down. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and drop my one, and now I'm going to have to scroll back up because zero, and we're going to go back down, and I'm going to drop my other zero. And I'm going to have to scroll back up, and we finish the problem. I, I got to tell you, I, I have a headache. That was that was impressive. Now, you were running out of room there. Is there some way that you can make more room here yes, without, there without is going a way to we a can second do page? That. Yes, I How can. How would you do that? If I would have scrolled down, what I could have done at the beginning is pressed extend page. Extend page. Which would have made my... Wait a my minute. It, it disappeared. It did, but it didn't. It didn't? So let me go ahead and add a line in there so that we can see our writing is there. I'm going to put my pen back in. If we go back to our scroll bar, though, and scroll back up, 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 there is our writing. I guess it didn't disappear. So for those longer math problems, for those extra notes that teachers want to add, it allows them to have some more real estate, and they're still able to scroll through that entire problem so that they have it all together. Now, as we switch places here with our pictures, mm -hmm. um, you had to move up and down quite a bit. I did. Is I there did. a solution for that so you don't have to there do that? There is. How there would, is. Let's show them that. In the notebook software toolbar, if we take a look in at the second icon here, it kind of looks like a TV, and there's a white arrow in each corner pointing out. When you press that icon, it's going to allow you to go full screen. So now we can see we have our math problem at the top. You can see our added notes we have at the bottom, so we can view it all at the same time. So this is everything that was on that page now viewed all at once as opposed to having to scroll up and down. Whoops, I'm it sorry. It is everything, and you can still manipulate it. You can still add to it if you needed to add more. Now, I'm going to guess that if I want to get back out of full screen mode, I'm going to select the uh, button here with the arrows in. Exactly. Okay, and then we're back to the regular uh, uh, full screen. Uh, not, not, not single page. Single page mode, sure, the one everybody knows. Exactly. All right. Well, congratulations on... Uh, 20, uh, 234,105 there. It was a long one. That's, uh, boy, that's impressive. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing the math problem, and thank you for the top tip. Not a problem. All right, that's it for uh, today's top tip. And I'm Smart Ed. We'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.